Hi everybody. How we doing? It always takes me a minute to see if it's going live or not. Hi Mary. <laughs> I'm watching to see. Ah, there's my liner. <laughs> it was, I was, um, I'm starting to work on designing the next swap and um, I'm trying to find papers for it. And I was talking with Gail and Gail goes, aren't you going live? I'm going, yes, right now. <laughs> I'm a couple minutes late. Happy Sunday. Guys, I decided that it had to be a pajama sewing day. Oh, well, Kim, I'm really glad that you came out of hiding. Yes, Rebecca, I think I'm down to like I've only got six and I have not advertised it at all. So if you want in, go get signed up for it. Okay. <laughs> Mary, that's funny. Mary said she tries to stay in the background and then she just has to chime in. Yeah, guys, just give up on it. Just chime in. Hi, Diane. Yep, I'm here. Um, I will I was told I will have the fabric on Wednesday. The fabric will be here on Wednesday. So, um, I, you got to give me, then I got to get it cut up. And it looks like I am the only cutter available. So, um, I, I, I think it's going to take me a couple of days to get all the kits cut. But I have, um, oh good Mary, I'm glad you're in yours too. Oh good Debbie. Oh good Lindsay, I'm glad you are too. Um, so I, I will have them, that's the 16th, I will have them in the mail by the 21st. That's when they will go in the mail, okay? I'm really excited too. I truly am. I cannot wait. Um, all of the first four sets of directions are done. The opening kits, <laughs> come cut fabric, Kim. Um, all of the patterns are ready. The first month's ones are all set up and just have to be printed. And I'll start printing those this week. And then um, once I get, and I'm hoping to have the first month all printed well before Wednesday. And then um, as soon as they got here, as soon as the fabric gets here, I'll start cutting. Hi there. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all right, Vicki. We haven't done anything yet. Oh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving, Sammy. I didn't realize that that was today. Yeah, Robin, it is a lot of cutting. But, um, <laughs> well, Kathy, that's good to get the aquarium cleaned. Hi, Vicki. So, um, yeah, it's a lot for one person to cut. I'm hoping my sister can come up and help me. Um, we'll see. <laughs> the Seahawks are behind. Uh-oh. Tell them to get going, Carrie. Hi, Lee Allen. I wondered what Texas was like today. If it was hot there or not. We have actually had a little bit of a cold spell. Which is fine because we expect it this time of year. But I've been kind of surprised. I, honestly, I've been a little bit um, surprised. And it's really tough because I come out in the studio and the studio is so bright. And I've got so much light out here that I actually get hot. So I go in the house and you have to put a sweatshirt on. What I miss Carrie. What happened with Carrie? Oh, 
Uh, the Seahawks, okay. The picture with all your sisters and your mom was so cute. Yeah, my one sister wasn't very happy that I put it on. She wasn't looking her best. Oh, your oven's running, Lindsay? Yep, it's a good time to bake bread, honey. Wow, Mary, that is cold. Yeah, it just has been real chilly. I don't know why. What kind of a start time are you hoping for each day? I, I'm i usually out here... Um, I, I'm usually out here by nine, if not earlier. I was thinking tons of half square triangles. You were. were I wanted to, um, I really, really wanted to do um, quarter square triangles for the next, for the next swap. Because we haven't done quarter square yet. So I really wanted to do that. Uh-oh. Sorry. Well, I'll just give you some starter and you can get it going. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I thought it was really nice. And it was so nice to get away with my sisters and my mom. That was really nice. My brother and um, sister-in-law leave tomorrow for Florida. So now I won't get to see them until April or May again. Oh, our poor Boone. Boone was, um, it was my father-in-law's birthday, his 97th birthday on Friday, and we went up for pizza and wings, and Boone and the kids got playing and running around, and um, he hit his head and ended up with stitches. I'm like, yeah. Hi, Brenda. So the fall, he, he cut his forehead right here, and Lindsay had to take him for stitches. But he's doing, she said, I haven't, well, I saw him for a minute that night after the stitches, and he was doing great. But, you know, we always worry when he hits his head. Wow, you can see the fish. What fish? <laughs> oh, in the aquarium. Now I got it. Sorry, I didn't mean to be late. Late in the brain. Yeah. Oh, he does keep Lindsay on her feet. I saw a recipe for acorn squash in the slow cooker, Lindsay. Oh, that's a good idea. I think he feels pretty good, but we just worry about his head. I like the idea of quarter square triangles. I do, too. I... I really liked that new and different idea. So we'll see what happens. Hi, Ampies. Um, yeah, I agree, Becky. We just keep giving him hugs and hugs. Ah, oh, happy birthday to Roberta's mom today. That's fantastic. Oh, the block you're working on? He has 16 half square triangles. That's a lot of them. Are they real tiny? Woo! I cannot wait to see your purple mixology. That's exciting. Hi, Faith. Hi, Linda. You will post, po post pictures in Facebook, right, Brenda? So I'm back to working on my um, men's quilt. I, I thought, okay, Margaret, you got to get back to it while you're in between stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I can tell you guys about my... I, I'm going to... I can tell you guys a little bit about what's going to be at Quilt Market with Hoffman Fabrics. And I think it's Tuesday I can start talking to you about it. So I'm really excited about that. I got the, um, I got the okay. 
So that's wonderful. Hi, Amy. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad. Oh, good, Brenda. Oh, wow. That's fantastic, Sammy. Oh, Joanne, that's really great. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, Mary, that's funny. Yeah, that's really cool. I love it when you guys are able to do things like Joanne's doing. Make a quilt and give it for um, raffle or something like that. Me either, Kay. I can't wait to be able to start telling you guys about it. I've been pretty... I know, I'm really excited. It's buffering? I wonder why, because it says I'm doing really good. I learned how to read that. Oh, Carrie, that'll be adorable. Um, Mary, no, it's not. It um it is down. I don't believe it's there anymore. Lindsay's turning it into one pattern because right now it's done up in a, in six months, I think it is. Is that right, Lindsay? It's done up in six months. I miss something. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's buffering. Um, so you're looking for puppy fabric. Hmm. Yeah, because it's not buffering on this end. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. They're... Um, what state do you live in for the puppy fabric, Carrie? Because I know that um, one of the, there's a fabric store in Pennsylvania in Lancaster that I went to that has all different kinds of fabrics, but it's down in Lancaster. Huh. Yeah, they're all separate. Yeah. Oh, Vicki, you'll love it when you get both your eyes done. It'll be fantastic. Um, I know. It just is not fair, Joanne, to have to keep this stuff, this stuff, um, a secret from you guys. I don't think it's fair. It's slow going, Diane, because they are tiny. Yep, they are little. Oh, I didn't realize that they did. Is my Sarah Star going to be put together? I need to finish Sarah Star, and that would be helpful. Um, I yes, Lindsay is trying to. Okay, it's Burke Holders. Thank you, Gail. Burke holders in Pennsylvania, and you could probably look it up online, because I know they do a little bit of online stuff. Oh, that's an idea, too. I know Burke holders has, oh my lord, they have everything. They have they have state fabrics, they have dog fabrics, they have every kind of fabric you could think of. I was like, whoa. I was pretty astounded when I saw it. Oh, Carrie, how was the quilt show? Yeah, I know, Brenda. You won't tell, so I could go ahead and tell you right this minute. Sorry, honey. You got me two days. I promise. Oh, over the rainbow. Up in Kim Camno? 
Okay. Yeah, I know, Kim. I would feel so much better if I could tell you guys. It is really exciting. Old Country Store. That's an idea too, Vanessa. I didn't think of them. But I know Burke Holders has it because when we were there, I was really, really shocked at all the difference that they have. Oh, I agree, Mary. You guys need an intervention on me. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you're getting there, aren't you? <laughs> Hi, Joanne. You're someplace in Ohio sewing, huh? I needed some, and I found out it comes and goes. I'm not sure what that was. Those ladies make amazing art, okay? Maybe even the quilt store in Lafayette. Oh, don't blab, or I won't, I promise, Gail. I'll, I'm trying really hard to keep my mouth closed. It's not easy, but it's very exciting, guys. And come Tuesday, I can tell all of you. I may have to get online and do it that way. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do it, but I'm very excited about it. I think I'm, I've, I've done pretty good. I think I'm doing it. I would love to blab though. You guys all know that, but I'm not quite ready to show it all to you. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Guys, I have a terrible time keeping secrets from you guys. Oh, okay. There was a king size hand pieced English paper quilt, hand quilted. You're kidding, Carrie. I can't imagine. Um. I'm not sure. I will try to give you advanced warning, okay? I will try really hard to give you advanced warning on Tuesday before I tell you guys, okay? So that you can all see. I just think it's so exciting when they do these things. And then we get to do it. Did you take pictures, care? Oh, I hope she did. <laughs> Are you going to tell us or just give us a slight hint? Um, what do you think, Gail? Well, if I'm off and running, maybe my husband isn't watching the game right now and I can turn on TV on live stream here. Bye, everybody, and have a wonderful week. Oh, fantastic. Okay, bye, Vicki. Do you still have all those boxes stacked? Yes, I do. They're right over here. They're all stacked. They're all ready to ship. Do you get a picture of the surprise? Um, you may see one in, in you may see one live. Depends upon how my weekend goes. I'm hoping that my Sunday, which is today and it's going very well, and my Monday go really, really well. And then, did I see a second camera on the bag video? Yeah, I do have two cameras. Yep, and I believe it or not, I used two of them. I have one of them that's stationary over at, <laughs> no hints, I know. I have one that I use over at my cutting table all the time. And then I have a second one that just kind of roams around the room with me. Yeah. Ooh. She's almost caving in. I know I am. I am just... Oh. You guys have no clue how hard it is not to be able to tell you this stuff. It really is tough. 
<laughs> it, it truthfully is tough. I gave you guys a hint already. If Gail knows she can tell us, then Margaret won't be the one spilling the beans. You got it. Oh, thank you, Carrie. It felt good to finally be um, filming a tutorial because I tend to not get them done during the swap because the swap takes so much time. So it was really nice to be able to do that again. And I've got another one that I've already started. Yeah. It was the first time that you noticed the second camera? Oh. Huh. Suburban, I saw a quilt top that was hand paper piece taxis. I think two inches. She also made the back with the same hand piece taxis. The girl, maybe 20, said she worked on it every night for a year. Wow. I have a hard time doing that. Honestly, I would. Every night, the same thing. Ooh. I'd have a hard time, but bless her for doing it. Oh, <laughs> Gail's just trying to protect me. Keep me out of trouble. That's what she's doing. Yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, Dream Big was the hint. Does anybody know what Dream Big is? Hmm? Dream Big is the hint, and these two fabrics that I showed you last week, this one and the wild one, are the other hints. Oh, my $500 glasses fell? Oh, no. Oh, no, Mary, I hope they're okay, it, but it doesn't sound like they are. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, yes, you would. It just would take more than a year. That's all. Oh, I bet Suburban it was. Oh, how cool is that? Kim, that's, yes, the flower panel, dream big. That's what you're supposed to be thinking. And if, um, yep, those dream big panels for practicing your quilting, but I didn't practice my quilting on them. And if you go out onto Hoffman Fabrics website now, you can actually see. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> um, if you go out to Hoffman's Fabrics, you can actually see what's coming up that's new in the Dream Big line. I've already seen it. I don't think the, I don't think the, um, hi, Lori. Oh, yes, I will. Okay, so this is my, I just took off the last piece of paper to my half square triangle. So these are all my half square triangles for my men's shirt. The sun's starting to come in here. It's causing trouble. And then this is one of my fabrics for the next project. Um, ooh, so that you can see. Can you see it? Well, the sun, there, that's better because the sun's in there. Okay, there's one of them. So there's that one. And this one is going to be the same as the as what's at market and then this is the other one and this one is really wild i mean guys this is look it is wild i mean completely and totally wild i've never done anything like this before in my life but i thought there now you can get a good picture of it but I thought it was time for me to step out of my comfort zone yeah yep so that's it click to see if you have oh that's a good idea 
Yeah, they are beautiful, Mary. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I know, Gail, I'm in love with this wild one. I just think it's wonderful. I just absolutely think that it's fantastic. And I cannot wait to do my thing with it. It won't be long. I was going to do it today, but it's not going to happen today. Um, the wild one is actually um, from Free Spirit, but the one that's at market is Hoffman. Okay. Yeah, it does look like a 70s fabric. It's called Art Excursion by Denise Burkett. Yeah. So I just, I'm in love with the wild one. I just think it's nice and wild and different and just think it's wonderful. Yeah, Mary, I think it is awesome. So what I'm going to be doing with it is real, real simple. Dream big panel. Yeah, that's what's going to, no, nope, it's not a bag. No, I should suburban. I, I should, but my other, I want to do my other one first. Oh, that'd be really cool. It'd be very cool at your Cape May place. I know it kind of does look like it came from a forensic lab. You know, you get a microscope and you're kind of looking at, we were, um, last week we were talking about these looking, I thought it looked like a caterpillar. Somebody else saw, thought it looked like peas in a pod. So I really loved it. I thought it was really pretty. So in this blue one, this one, I'm going to put in my house. I don't know, Cindy. Oh, does it? I'll have to go look. I didn't realize Stitch TV had modern stuff. My sister, Sue, really loves to do modern things. Big time. Loves to do modern things. Yeah. One Black Wonder? Nope. Not a One Black Wonder. I want to do this one. I don't want to do the One Black Wonder. I want to do this one, which is called... Can you see it? It's called Four Patch Stacked Posies. That's what I want to do. I love this quilt. In fact, I didn't think I had one because I gave mine away, but then I realized that my mom gave me one. Yeah, it's like spin art. Absolutely. But I am going to be making Four Patch Posies. I love this quilt. I just think I it's just beautiful when it's done. And and I've done it before. It's been a long time since I made it, but I I've done it and I loved it. Yeah. And the directions look really good. That's what I have a hard time with is directions. Eat sleep garden. What's Eat Sleep Garden, Krusty? I want to do the four patch posies. The stacked. It just, guys, I got to tell you, it's really, really neat. Yeah. I mean, it is really cool. And she really has great directions, I think. So this is my next personal projects. Orange is my favorite, so I love that. Oh, my sister Sue really likes orange too. This is really neat because it's got it goes it gradiates from orange all the way down to this peachy and then pink. So I really I thought it was really cool. Oh, we will be doing it, Gail. 
you'll have to go back um, shopping to the old creamery so that you can get that stuff. Five stars. I'm not sure what the five stars is. Yeah, Mary, I'd never heard of it either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a pinky kind of girl. The four patch posies that I have in the studio here is purple. It's got a lot of purple in it. I'll grab it. Since since I can't keep talking about the surprise at Hoffman, I'll go grab it and show it to you. Then you can see what the four patch stacked posies looks like. I think I quilted it, but it's my mom's quilt. But she gave it to me, I think. I'll have to look. See if she filled out a label. Yeah, this is one I quilted. Here it is. So this is four patch stacked posies. Well, here's half of it. See, and it's one fabric. And then the way you cut it is the way all your blocks turn out. So this is it, and every block looks different. But instead of doing a triangle, you end up with squares. So you can, once you get them put together into the four patches, you can square them all up, which makes it really nice because the quilt goes together better. Yeah. Oh, I love autumn colors. What's above your skill set? This? Lindsay, this is not above your skill set. Yes. It really is pretty. Yeah. So, consequently, so what mom did was, mom did the cornerstones and the border the same. Then she did a small pale border and then a big border of the original fabric. So you can see what the original fabric was. Isn't that pretty? I like the white frame too. Yeah, I think the white frame really sets it off. But they, they're they just beautiful. And every single block is different. You don't end up with anything the same, which I think is really cool. In looking at it on camera, oh, I love this one. Where is it? Right? Look at this one. And look at that one right next to it. Boy, does that look modern. You know, and I look at these and I go, okay, this one and this one are the exact same fabric and look at how different they look. You know, even this one and this one are cut. A lot similar but look at the difference in it this one has a center this one has a center that's full of the little blossoms and this one looks almost like a pinwheel it's not intimidating honey well it's not it's the way you, it all has to do with how you cut it Mary yeah all has to do with how you cut it so it, it really is quite simple to do. It's just learning her technique of cutting it. Look at this one. Can I get it so that you can see it? Look. Isn't that one pretty? Very simple, but very pretty. No, it's not difficult for a beginner. It truly isn't, guys. I would tell you if it was an advanced class. Um, I'm not sure. It depends upon um, the repeat in your fabric and how big you want to cut your squares. Okay? But when I go to start mine, I'll let you guys know so that you guys can do it with me if you want. I have my fabric already done. I have my fabric already picked out. 
I'm going to use um, an Adidas sitar fabric is what I'm using. Ooh, look at, where is it? Look at this one right next to it. Look at this one. Isn't that one pretty? I love this quilt. I may have to take this in and put it on my bed so I can look at it. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Yeah, that's all it is. You're right, Gail. Um, it's all in the stacking and the cutting. You guys can see my pink flamingo pajamas. Um, let me see if I can tell you. Let's see. A 12 inch fabric repeat will yield approximately 56 finished blocks if the squares are cut two and three quarters. The squares will be sewn into a four batch to produce a five inch finished back. Um, so it all depends upon the repeat. A 12 inch repeat equals a yard and a third. A 16 inch repeat equals two yards. A 14 inch repeat equals one and three quarters. And an 18 equals two and an eighth. But that makes like a throw size. It's 58 by 49. So that's a pretty small one. So if you want a bigger one, you just make more of them and buy more fabric. Do you really, Cindy? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes, I will. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Cause I want to make mine. I have my. I can. I can't see it cause long arm. I have fabric right over there for it. It's all ready to go. This is by, designed by HD Designs, and they are in Brooklyn, Michigan. Yeah, it really is is pretty. I don't know how big I want mine though. I got to figure that out first. But I love these things. Oh, I'm sorry, Suburban. Oh, good. Don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you. Four patch stacked posies. The pattern will be up on my website tomorrow. It's not up there yet. I just got it. But it'll be up there tomorrow. No, you don't use the triangle ruler. You're right, Gail. So, yeah, that's what this is. And it's just beautiful. I did one with um, russ in creams and green. And it was really, really pretty. Yeah. This isn't the... Um, you're thinking of... Yeah, wonderful sunshine. You're thinking of the... Um, one black wonder. Don't you like my sign language? You know, I love my studio, how I turned it around and changed it. But this sun on Sundays is becoming a real issue. And I don't know what to do about it. I, I've got to figure out something because it's getting really bad. I may have to do something different. Um... Okay, Peggy, I I am going to make it. It's just, I can't start making it till I get my men's shirt done. Then I can start making it. Because I only do my things on Sundays. So I'll help you. I'll go through it with you guys. I'll put the patterns up on the website so that you guys can see what's going on. Okay? Brenda, more purple is a good thing. You could find fabric and use the purple as your borders. Uh-oh. Trying to knit two halves to a sweater while you were chatting. Big mistake, huh? Yep. So a blind. Uh, oh, the problem is, is that the window... The windows here are 
they are almost up to the ceiling and I have 12 foot high ceilings. Yeah, and it's, um, all the windows have, um, protection on them. Yeah, I may have to hang a, hang a quilt because I, I just, yeah, I just can't, um, I don't know what to do. It's just getting really bad. And I, I don't know, I can't keep moving my sewing table. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to have to figure out something because that one window is really causing havoc. And of course, in a little while, it won't cause trouble because the sun will be farther beyond. And I won't have the issue. But for right now, it's causing trouble. And that's not good. I can't do anything in the chat, but chat. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything in the chat either, guys. Better get a tall layer. I know. I wonder if I can even show you guys how high they are. Look, watch. Can okay, see, there's that. Look at there's the windows. They're way up there. I mean, way up there. So I have to be very careful. Yeah. Oh, Mary, gotta go. Bye, Mary. Yes, you will see us next week. How um, made to order shade? I can make shades. I've done it. But the problem is, is that, you know, it just means every week I got to get up there and pull the shade down. I'm not really good at that. A long curtain rod. Then you can just slide it over. Well, that's true. Oh, that would be really pretty, Carrie. All the fall colors. Yes, Gypsy's mom. I should install a power shade. Or have my husband do it. Yeah, I could make curtains for it. I think it'd be easier to move my sewing table, though. Yeah, the lace isn't going to do it. Because it's that afternoon sun. So it's like really, really um, bright. You know what? That might work. A Roman shade with a really long pull cord. That might work. I mean, you guys can see how bright it is. It's, I mean, it's really bright. So, I gotta figure out something. I will. But then it's like trying to find time to make it. And, uh, that's not, you know. But I may have to. It's a challenge some after the time change. Yes. That might, that truly, Jennifer, I didn't think of that. Once we do the chi time change, it might not make a difference. We have holes to close and open the blinds in our skylight. Oh, Mary, yeah, now that you say that, my um, brother and his wife have, have um, its powers because it's up in a cupola way above their house. So they have, they have that. That's how they do it. Yeah. So the next thing I got to do on my t-shirt, hot, I don't like heat. Makes me flash. Yeah, yeah, I know that. That the lace is very full. It cuts. Oh. Well, then, you know what, Kim? I'm going to have to look at that because I do love lace. But I think I'm going to do what Jennifer said and see what happens after the time changes. Because you know what? If I remember correctly, I had this problem last year too. When we were over on the other side of the room. Because the sun came right through that window at me. Oh, Leland, that's wonderful. I'm so glad your mom's coming down. She's bringing her best friend. Aww. Oh, that's wonderful. Enjoy your time. That is fantastic. I know we had a blast with our mom last two weeks ago now. It was really nice. Mm, I love windows. I absolutely love them. I, I think they're wonderful, and I love the sunshine. 
It just gets in the way on Sundays right now. I got to do something different so that it doesn't quite get in the ways. I need lace curtains. Mine are too dark. Oh, yeah. Curtains really, though, are easy, Linz. Oh, you're both in Texas. Okay. How far are you, Lee, from Houston, then? Texas is huge. Does that help? Nope. I know. Holland has lace curtains that are just beautiful. Oh, I don't, well. Bye, Kelly. Oh, out in the, out in the field with the corn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sometimes I view sheer panels or lace bunched up. Oh, to cut. Okay, it still allows light. That's a good idea. Hmm, that is neat, Kim. I'm going to have to look at that. I don't know why you do either. I have no clue, Lindsay, why you dislike making them so much. Because you could do it. Yeah, thank you, Diane. I thought we did have a terrible time. So maybe it's just going to be until the um, time change goes through. And then it'll be better. Which would be really nice. Because I'd like to have it get a little bit better. I'm taking Sunday today off from harvesting grain. Cart driver. Ooh. That's nice that you're getting a day off, Peggy. A lot of time farmers don't ever get any time off at all. Really? Paducah's going to stop their fall shows? Wow. Holy Toledo, I didn't realize that. I know um, my sister and I are going to Paducah in the spring to, um, she's going to try to put a bus trip together. And we're doing that in the spring. So we'll have to investigate that for the fall. Because I know um, next spring, um, Quilters Take Me and Hanton is coming back, and we are definitely going to that because I have to go to New York City. Taping newsprint across the section that's blinding you. That's an idea. Yeah, I just have to climb up on the ladder and do something different. I could just cover that whole window until the time changes. Wow, that's three of you that heard it. Okay, I'm going to have to find out. I'll have to message my sister and have her look into it so that she knows. Because that'll be an issue. Because I almost think she was thinking about doing the fall show. And that won't work. Yeah, I got to make a note Tuesday. Rug. Um... How about it? Yes. Hmm. I'll message my sister and see if she knows because that's not good for her, especially if that's what she's doing. Um, I think I'm too close to it for a dressing screen. Yeah, mom does hate heights. Yeah, and... I just got to figure out a way to put something over the window itself. And then I'll be okay. Oh, absolutely, Brenda. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. Yeah, I had to get the ladder out the other day to get on top of the closet. And my knees were knocking. Yeah. When is Quilters Take Manhattan? Sure, it's um this... 
fall, I think. Um, this coming a year from now. Um, hang on, because I know I made a note of it so that I didn't do anything else. Uh, September. October. Maybe it's in the spring. Because Sue told, I have to go, we're going to Kentucky in April. And then in May, I have to go to Ohio for Jackie's graduation. Um, then, I don't, I thought it was in the fall. I'm not sure of the dates. I'll have to look. Because I'm not seeing them. And I thought for certain that I put it in my calendar. I'll ask my sister. Because I'm not seeing it. So let me make a note so I don't forget to do it. Alright. Sue, Quilters Take Manhattan. It's wonderful. We've loved it. We She's done it... Um, two or three years in a row, and it was wonderful. Yes, Deb, this is the only day it bothers me. This is it. Here's an idea for the sun, blocking until time change where your sunglasses. <laughs> yes, that would, that would absolutely do it. And then you heard Fall Paducah, right? All right, I got to tell my sister both of those. Oh, Cheryl, there you go. You can meet us there. Um, I think if you Googled it, you'll find it too. But yeah, it's wonderful. We've always enjoyed it. Always have enjoyed it. I could actually take contact paper and put, you know, like clear frosted contact paper up there. That would do it too. <laughs> it's funny. You guys are hilarious today. Yeah, have a great week. Yes, it is time. I am going to end, guys, just a few minutes early. And I will see September of 2020. Thank you. September, Cheryl. So talk to your sister about it. Okay. I'll look for that, Joanne, because that might do it too. Mm, it sounds more like September because it wasn't really cold when we were there. PJs and shades. I can just see me now. <laughs> All right, you guys, you have a fantastic week, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay? You should, Brenda. I absolutely say you should just sandwich two pieces together and quilt it. Go for it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.